continue with that so the major part for the telemedicine is the integration and the operational issues because you have a telemedicine system so which is going to have the uh, the, the different equipments the, as a biomedical equipments that will be uh, bringing towards bringing towards the uh, the communication systems uh, the telemedicine systems so through the which uh, medium we are going to bring all the sophisticated biomedical instruments into the uh, telecommunication system so when you are interfacing so when you are inter integrating the systems so you will be facing the other uh, kind of uh, the difficulties and those things then uh, what kind of uh, when you are operating the instruments so what kind of uh, difficulties you will be facing that is what we are going to see so the integration path as well as the operational issues when you are bringing your biomedical equipment into the uh, into the telemedicine services okay so uh, with this aspect if you understand so uh, integrated healthcare network so we have like we are establishing the telecommunication uh, teleservices uh, the telemedicine services so when you are establishing the telemedicine services we know that so we'll be having like a uh, the, uh, the nodal center and uh, referral centers so uh, we here we have like a kind of a health center okay so which is connected with the health center which is connected with the district hospital so the district hospital which is uh, uh, connected with the medical center of excellence because the when you go for the second consultations and all those things so we will be uh, uh, looking for the medical centers of excellence and all those things. Uh, then um, you have like a uh, consultant on call so whenever it's required the consultant will be in, connected with the call so if you understand so we have like a uh, the different set of uh, uh, the the speed network we have here you you can you can check that so we are starting from the 64 kbps to up to 45 mbps we have the connected so when you have the medical center excellence which is connected to the district hospital we require kind of um, as a uh, the 45 mbps of speed because so we will be sharing so we will be sharing the information uh, like a uh, ct mri so the intensive care uh, and other uh, information will be sharing so the ct and the mri so uh, we will be we will be requiring a lot of um, uh, uh, the bandwidth to share the information so, so so that is the reason which is connected with the 45 mbps so when you have the basic um, the health center so from the health center so uh, the health center is equipped with the one day x-ray machine so which is um, uh, which is uh, connected uh, uh, through the 1.5 mbps uh, speed so uh, when you talk about the uh, consultant uh, will be talking to the patient so which is required only the 64 kbps so whenever it's needed so the consultant will be so you just imagine in the health centers we have the x-ray um, in the consultant on call so we have only the the network connectivity which is connected with the system and the telephone so when you look for the district hospital so we have like a the next level of x-rays and ultrasounds and others so but uh, uh, when you look for the, the uh, center for uh, excellence we have like uh, the sophisticated medical devices uh, equipment on our ct mri so don't uh, um, uh, it is not possible to every small healthcare uh, health centers will have the ct and mri so only the center of excellence will have so the multi specialty they can uh, afford uh, to have the and the CT and the MRI. So uh, we can't expect the small village, uh, the small clinic will have the, uh, the in the rural place or remote location, they will have the CT and the MRI. So investment will be, so maintenance investments will be huge for the CT and the MRI. You need to understand. So when you look for the uh, this kind of uh, telemedicine services, uh, so we will be, we'll be getting as a connected with the uh, uh, from the starting from the rural center to the district hospital district hospital to the, the multi specialty we can say our center of excellence we can say the medical center of excellence so which is connected with the kind of network okay so this we need to understand from so how we are going to integrate that uh, with the, the different equipments with the 
services. So when you are making for the integration, so we'll be we'll be looking for the three sectors for the delivery of the healthcare systems. So, okay. So when you look for the uh, three different sectors, so we'll be looking for the uh, the, uh, the patients. So first the contact patients. So they will be looking for the kind of treatment. So uh, with the, uh, the general physicians and all those. So in the primary level so they will be visiting the um, primary health center so they will be visiting and they will be getting all the information uh, from the top, uh, general physicians okay so then the doctor will be referring to the uh, uh, to go further with the uh, the hospital consultant in the secondary sector so the patient will be the, the first contact will be the primary sector then the secondary con, uh, sector they will be looking uh, uh, sometimes they will be uh, after the discharge uh, from the hospitals and other things so the patients will be uh, recovering so that time also we need some kind of rehabilitation so the kind of therapy will be given so kind of support so or suggestions and other things can so this is three sectors will be uh, will be delivering the healthcare. So the primary sector, so the patient will be visiting the local uh, local healthcare at all those. Then the secondary uh, sector will be visiting the hospitals, maybe uh, uh, admissions in the hospitals and other. Then later on the after the discharge, so they will be taking the kind of uh, uh, monitoring. Sections as a rehabilitation purpose. So, this all three sectors are very, very important. So, uh, when you look for the in the hospital, uh, so the entire uh, equipments will be integrated. So, the, uh, the when the patient is um, in the hospital, so the, they will get all the uh, all the uh, monitoring services. So, the so uh, the setup will be made in such a way that. So whenever this, uh, say, example, physiological signal um, has to be measured, so it's a kind of ECG has to be measured immediately. That environment will be given to the patient, so immediately the patient will be um, monitored with the ECG. Patient will be monitored with the EMG if it is required. So the pulse, uh, the uh, it can be checked. So so kind of uh, integrated environment uh, you need to you need to create for the patients. Okay. So there will be the different systems already told you. So the several systems are there. So that all will we have to bring into the um, uh, effective ones to deliver the uh, the healthcare services to the patients and everything. So so when you are bringing the different uh, uh, the equipments, so uh, to operate together into the system. So that is very very important here. So the when you are bringing the different uh, systems, so we'll be facing the, uh, the integration part. So this integration part is very very crucial. So once integration for uh, the system integration part is very good, so then the clinician and uh, uh, overall the operating the system, so they will be very comfortable. With that. Okay. So we need to have the kind of uh, co coordination. So when you are making the integration of the systems and all. Uh, sometimes if the integration fails so it leads to the kind of uh, um, uh, misinformation misdiagnosis that takes place okay so some kind of malfunctions can take place so that is very very important so always we need to have the, uh, the coordinations of whenever you are making the systems and all. so, so un uncoordinated planning as a legacy so will lead to the kind of uh, limited works uh, uh, no networking capabilities uh, present in the uh, major uh, challenges to the system integration. So you you need to understand always we you, you want to bring to the very good systems. So the plan for the future needs and uh, uh, not for the present ones. So whenever you are planning, so you will be say example when you want to purchase a kind of um, as a any uh, equipments uh, say example you want to buy, uh, buy a uh, laptop so for the uh, online classes and all. So you will be planning for that so a kind of um, the basic needs 
basic requirements uh, for the laptop as well as some features you will be adding for them. so for the future uh, so always you will be thinking of the not present ones so you need to plan for the future needs also so when you are purchasing the laptop it will it, uh, you, you will not plan for only the six months or one year you will be using right so you'll be using for the uh, minimum of five years maximum of 10 years based on the so you need to always plan for the uh, future needs not for the present so that is very very important so whenever it's needed so, so that can be upgradable so you need to look for the uh, upgradable one so when you are upgrading with that say example the uh, when you are purchasing the, uh, the laptop so you'll be getting uh, some kind of uh, windows versions uh, so say example windows 7 so now windows 8 windows 10 so in windows 10 also we have the um, uh, different versions so, so you need to understand so whether it's capable of upgrading okay so it uh, we need to check so whenever it's required it should be uh, uh, upgradable it should be there so uh, similarly uh, when you are looking for the telemedical services so we need to uh, uh, look for the required bandwidth so the demanding for the bandwidth for the not for the present one so you'll be taking for the longer durations okay so that is very very important so whenever uh, you have this telemedic uh, telemedicine services so you need to think in irrespective of clinical services so whatever the uh, technology can be adopted so whatever the advancement is coming so that all can be uh, uh, accepted so uh, it you will be uh, regularly you will be updating okay so when you are regularly if you are updating so you you can say that it's upgrade every one month every two months you are making okay so definitely uh, uh, we are saying that we need to plan for the future needs but it's very difficult to predict also right so uh, say example when you are making the the equipment uh, which is going to work with the 5g network so we don't know when it will be launched so we don't have any accurate data uh, so when it could be so you need to plan for uh, uh, future also 5g network can be adopted with the system but present one we have the 4g network so you need to so always it's very difficult to predict the uh, accurate of uh, uh, accuracy of the future uh, data but approximately you can you know, plan for that so you can uh, plan for the demands and all those things so what can be achieved with that so that is very very important when you talk about the uh, adoption of uh, technology with you for your services and all those things, telemedicine services so similarly you need to look for the sensible telemedicine strategies so that is the, definitely it's required so you whatever the system you are building you should have the uh, um, flexible way you should uh, uh, build the systems uh, at the same time you need to adopt the standardized so uh, you need to adopt the standard so when you are adopting the standard so it is very useful uh, very very uh, easy for the upgrade purpose and other things when you are looking for uh, the, the later stage of the project because so uh, when you are upgrading, uh, again I will take the same example, the mobile phone, when you are purchasing the same hardware is capable of upgrading at, up to certain ranges of uh, versions of software. So, okay, afterwards it will not accept the latest uh, um, the, um, the software. So you need to upgrade the hardware. So like that, so when you are upgrading the, um, uh, the software into the, uh, the existing hardware systems, so uh, you can certain uh, time uh, maybe three years or four years till that uh, the version is available so you can upgrade to that okay so upgrade it uh, with the incrementally with the minimum disruptions that is very very important so you will know your so similarly so we need to look for the, the purchase of the, the systems uh, uh, for the uh, telemedicine services so we need to look for the uh, what is the needs okay so the current needs so uh, in future that uh, extra features can be added with it so when you are looking for that so you you need to look for the how much the cost involvement what is the harness and all the six you need to take so uh, we need to adopt the advanced technologies also upgrade it can be updated in the later stages 
service. So this is another important area. So when you look for the telemedical services. So definitely we have a lot of options to adopt the open system technologies. So this uh, open system technologies like the open source software. So we have the licensed softwares, we have the licensed operating systems. So we have like a open source um, uh, softwares also. So example we can say is it the windows uh, uh, license operating uh, systems we have uh, when you look for the ubuntu it's a open source uh, operating systems like that uh, say example the matlab lab you so we have like a license version so so when you look for the open system uh, technology adoptions for your um, the development of your product so it will be very easy so but we have a little difficulties also so uh, with that uh, the, who's the programmers and directors uh, managers who they are working for the field so they have to adapt they have to know about the benefits then they will be adapting with the systems and the process. So, so when you look for the open systems uh, it's a very um, acceptable range so uh, this can be taken so uh, based on the requirements and all those things so um, this will be uh, the say example the uh, small uh, module can be taken with the, uh, from the one manufacturers should work within the piece of computer from from the other company and all those things they can work with that okay so uh, this this is uh, um, uh, and then if you are bringing as a network so, so we'll be uh, looking for the, the standards we'll be looking for the kind of cables we'll be looking for the what kind of software we are using operating systems and the process. so for telemedicine purpose we'll be definitely required of the video conferencing system so which is uh, uh, looking for them uh, establishing the communication between the two centers so when you are looking for the video conferencing equipment and other things so they have the kind of uh, um, uh, the, the sophisticated devices equipments we can say that so uh, this can bring uh, into the interface uh, to get the uh, features of uh, telemedicine, uh, telemedicine services and other things. so when you are bringing the very good systems so it can improve the, uh, the performance of the systems so when you are bringing this open uh, system technologies adoptions in the telemedicine services it will be more benefit so similarly uh, the, when you look for the integration and operational issues we have the interoperability so how this um, whatever the design aspects when you are working hardware and software so when you are bringing together how this uh, what is the ability of the hardware so how the software will be working together okay that is very very important so working together it's very very important because say example the hardware the hardware is developed uh, developed by the one team so the software is developed by the another team so the coordination should be there between the hardware and software people so that the uh, stage by stage development if you're looking so then you can bring easily with the systems right so if you need to you need to uh, think about the uh, the uh, integrations part so how the when you are making the integration how the coordination takes place so this both hardware and software should work together then the portability definitely we are looking for the all the systems uh, so we are looking for the portability so how the system uh, design is approached so how this is uh, uh, what kind of software architecture is adapted so how this can be taken so when you are um, looking for the with uh, equipment okay so uh, or we can say as a when you are writing as a uh, the coding and other things so how this uh, computer platform so it's going to give the, the options to work and other things so this will give you the uh, definitely the ability so how the software is designed and then the scalability so how this uh, software coding uh, when you are writing so how whatever the functions you are using whether you are uh, you are uh, you are looking for the the, um, the the kind of task has to be finished so when you are uh, looking for the uh, 
the numbers, the small and uh, so large systems. So when you are looking for this both level, it should work. Okay, so that's a uh, software how the functions are takes place and all those So that we should uh, get all the information. So when you are looking this kind of information, will be will be looking, say example um, if um, the, the manufacturing unit should work for the like a thousand capacity as soon as the per day if they want to look for the some kind of increased with thousand five hundred unit has to be manufactured so they look so the scalability so like that the software functions also whatever you are using so whatever what is the ability we need to check okay so whether it's a small numbers or the large systems it should work with the proper way that is very very important then uh, for the telemedicine services we will be looking for the uh, the electronic patient records so we have like a plan to bring the electronic patient records into the telemedicine services so when you are bringing the uh, the, um, the, uh, the patient record so electronic patients like e record we can say electronic and medical record we can say electronic patient records so when you are bringing into the telemedicine services so when you are linking with this so definitely all the information the patient history will be maintained. So this all information will be maintained in the electronically. So uh, whenever they are going for the kind of uh, uh, the consultation, first consultation or second consultation. So if sometimes they will go from home itself, uh, kind of uh, um, uh, uh, review to the doctors and all those things. So this all can be taken. So uh, when they are going, so they will be all the informations will be recorded. So all the informations will be stored. So whenever it's required, it will be retrieved. It will be seen by the consultant. Okay, so that is very very important. So when you are looking, all the informations uh, is sheet of the patients. It's recorded, so it will be easy to retrieve also. So you need to have the storage space and all this. So so you have like a kind of software. Uh, which can be used to write all the uh, information uh, record record purpose and all those things we can make into the automated way so uh, so when you are looking for the automated way so that can be used for them whenever it's required so uh, this uh, whatever the data is recorded uh, from the patient in you need to understand very clearly this ethics is very very important when you have the data of the patient so the video should be available between the patient and doctor so this this should not be taken away without consent of the patient without consent of the doctor it should not be taken out of the organizations so if you are taking out of the organization again okay, it's an ethical problem okay if, if the doctor or patient comes to know that this the uh, the patient record the patient video say because the patient will be dealing uh, discussing with the doctor their personal problems their personal um, the health issues this should not be disclosed to the any other social media or something so uh, that is very very ethically it's not at all correct so that's what i was saying in the last class also ethics ethical uh, ethic, ethical and legal aspects of telemedicine so uh, this is very very important because when you are practicing this, so this medical records about the patients without consent of the patients, without consent of the doctor, it should not be released to somewhere. It should not be said. Say example, it should not be shared with someone. If they are sharing with someone, again they they will be uh, they will be punished. Okay, so that is very very important. So. Uh, say example the same uh, same thing uh, the, uh, uh, the patient MRI report or CT report so that is discussion between the patient and doctor that should not be uh, conveyed to the some other unknown person that should not be uh, published in the without the patient uh, concerned or without uh, doctor concern that should not be published in the, any kind of uh, uh, public platform so that is the very very ad not advisable okay so very very uh, wrong method so without their concern you you are, you are taking and you are putting it to somewhere okay so that's very good so uh, why i am saying this one is when you are making the software uh, to write the automated and all the things so uh, it will be automatically it will be processed it will be 
uh, stored in the uh, kind of uh, storage systems and all this. So their administrative burden will be uh, reduced. Okay, so the man involvement will be the uh, resource involvement will be less. So this uh, all the recorded uh, information has to be kept in the secret way. So it should not be kept into the public forum. Okay, so that is very because the patient record is very very sensitive. So that is what we are saying. All the information will be uh, 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 they will uh, EPR, EPR, so electronic patient records. So this will have the uh, all the information in the compressive method and easily accessible whenever only the authorized person. So here is the doctor is the authorized person, not any other uh, doctor from the uh, outside the hospital or any technician outside the hospital. So only the authorized person in the organization in the hospital. If this doctor is consulting with the, some other doctor in the uh, another hospital, if they sign the MOU. Then this all the patient records will be transferred with the consent of the patients to the another doctor. Okay, you need to understand without consent, uh, without getting the um, consent of the patients, so the doctor cannot share the information to the other doctor also. So, so this all ethics we discussed in the, um, the last class also. Okay, so um, then uh, the, all the information will be taken for the uh, the next level. So for this, you will be looking for the kind of uh, suitable infrastructures, uh, network connectivity, and all these things. So when it's required, so it will be transferred to the uh, one log, uh, one hospital to the another hospital. So when you look for this kind of uh, information sharing here, also the ethics has to be followed here. Okay. So uh, uh, when when they have this um, uh, electronic patient records, so this also will be connected with the knowledge database. So uh, whenever it's required, so it can be uh, given as a kind of decision making system as well as the um, uh, prescriptions of the generic and the cost effective drugs. So uh, nowadays a lot of technology adoption is coming. So kind of uh, decision making trees. So. Another important thing is um, when you practice for the reimbursement, so of the cost. So um, when they are coming under them, uh, the insurance and all those things, so the how the reimbursement will take place. In so uh, only the uh, uh, the partial amount or fully it can be covered. So or only uh, uh, full uh, reimbursement will come so only the face-to-face -face consultations. And that's to be. So that's very, very useful. So the telehealth uh, integration features, we have like a, uh, the safe and effective. So the, uh, the patient has a choice. So uh, how that can be taken so they can discuss with the doctors. They can have the utilize the all the facilities the what they have. So uh, they can have the great experience when you are uh, looking for the, uh, the through the telehealth services and all those things. So uh, they, there is no need to travel more to see the doctors and other things. So they can uh, they can utilize the time. Uh, so uh, when they when they are not traveling, they will save the money for the transport uh, services and other things. So uh, they can have uh, the comfort uh, uh, when you are looking for the telehealth services and other things. So, okay. so this is one of the important thing. So when you look for the uh, the telemedicine services, uh, so you'll be getting as a lot of benefits. Even sometimes the near to the hospitals, be the parking of the car also uh, sucking into the traffic jam and all those also can be alright. So see, they, because we are, uh, young people can travel long, but think about the um, elderly people and all those so it's, uh, taking them for the to get the treatment for the uh, under kilometers. Uh, uh, distance, then you just think. So this all you need to uh, think. So that's a telehealth. Uh, it's a giving the lot of uh, benefits. So we have like a store and forward operations. So all the informations, whatever the informations we have collecting, so we'll be storing and uh, we'll be forwarding with that. So when you are forwarding to that. So uh, we'll be we'll be uh, giving the authorized people to access uh, 
that information. So, okay. So, uh, what are the information that's uh, transmitted? So, we will be uh, getting us in the, uh, of the say, example, uh, nodal center to the reference center. So, uh, that will be taken. So, all the information uh, so it can be uh, transmitting as well as the receiving can be taken with the whenever it's required. Okay. So, uh, the this uh, real time we can plan or we can plan in the store and so on. So when you are looking for the store and real time is the both end they should be ready. So the patient also should be there, consultant also should be there. When you look for the store and forward, so the all the information will be sent and uh, all the information will be collected, will be stored and will be sent with the convenient time. So whenever it's required. Okay, so this both the options will be used in the telemedicine services.